Okay, I am going to show you how a tachometer works. Uh, this is a way, this is what your car, you, one of the ways your car measures the rotation rate of your engine. So here I have my fake engine. I built this. See that? It's a drill. And so I have a cork on here, uh, and then I put some aluminum foil over this. I haven't finished this yet, but this is how I'm going to show you how this works. Now the next thing I have, I, I need a analog voltmeter. So this is a um, just, you could get a multimeter like this. And it would kind of work, uh, but, and I'll try this, but you want one with the dial on it. And that dial is like the dial in your car that measures RPMs. So now what we're going to do is to take this. If I take this uh, C cell battery and I connect it to my voltmeter, then I get 1.5 volts. 1.5 volts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to connect it through this. So here's what I'm going to do. So I need to have a way to connect. Let's turn this like this. I don't want this to turn. And then I'm going to take uh, these and connect them so that one on each side. So sometimes it will be touching the metal and it will give a voltage reading. And then sometimes it will be touching that and it will not give a voltage reading. The faster this spins, uh, the less time there is between voltage and no voltage. And when we get no voltage, it doesn't drop down to zero right away. So this should give a uh, proportional value of the RPMs, which we could then calculate later. But we're not going to do that, but we could. Okay, so let's see if we can set this up. I need a little, little block right there so I can attach that. And then I need one on the other side. And now I'm going to need some wires. Okay, so I'm going to run this wire from here to the battery, the negative end of the battery. Uh, let me put the battery right there. Let's see if we turn this down a little bit. So you can see we don't need that wire. So this is the uh, holder for the battery. Uh, if I put this in here like that, I can just jam this down in there. And now it's my battery holder. Okay. Now I need to run a wire from here to there, and then this wire can go to this clip. And let's just see if we can clip this in together. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, I like. Oh, I liked it for a second. Okay, let's see if that holds. Okay, I'm gonna need to tape that down. Um, actually, I'm gonna get a weight. I just happen to have some weights right here. And this is, you know, this is, I'm just trying to demonstrate this thing. That's good. That'll hold it nice and steady. Now I can move that up right there. I want that stationary. I think that will work. Okay, now this one, I need another wire. Let's just use this. I can use this wire. I need to strip that. I just had my wire cutters. There they are. It's hard when you're using the camera because not everything shows up on the camera. Okay, so now I'm going to strip this really quickly. You could do this with a pocket knife, but this is just easier. Okay, now this end, I'm going to stuff in here like that and this end I'm going to connect to my penny and now I need to get this connected I'm going to put another weight I think this might work okay so the first test is I wanted to see if this will get any uh, voltage on the reading right there I'm going to touch it. Yes. 
Okay, it's not perfect because this needs to go down a little bit. Let's see if I can move that down. Okay, there. So it's working. So let's see if I have a voltage. Now let's see, it's at 1.5 volts. As I turn this without moving it, You can see it's right around, uh, it was right around 0.2 volts. Let's see if I can get it really fast if it'll go higher. No, it's not going higher, but I think the idea works. I'm just not getting good contact. Let's move this one down a little bit. I think it's a solid idea. Let's try it one more time. Can you see that wire? Oops, I missed it. Okay, so this has to be touching. And then... I think I'm just not getting good contact, but I think, I think that I have uh, shown how this would work. I just didn't take the time to build a really a nice version. So, the faster this spins, the less time it is for the voltage to go down, and then you can get a relationship between the voltage reading here and the actual rotation rate, and that's how a tachometer works. So it's, it's essentially a, uh, does use a voltmeter. Um, so if you also take the tachometer out of a car, you could use it as a voltmeter, because that's what it is.